Good afternoon, free video for Simple Futures, Monday, 27th December, starting off the uh, trade for the last week of the year here. Starting off with a volume chart here, volume profile chart on the S&Ps. The reason I want to point out balance last week in the S&Ps, 4720. You can see we start out this week and it's just absolutely straight up from this morning. And uh, if I take you back into the last part of Friday right here, this is going to be important. If you can see, we hit the uh, 30 level, backed off into the close down to around 15. That's important. So now, if I take this out to a uh, daily chart for you, we see that that closing swing low on Friday and the S&Ps is essentially and approximately the low from today as well, okay? Notice also that what the daily chart here is doing is making a series of higher lows. We call that one time framing, so it's one time framing higher. Just real quick, I'll also take you out to the weekly and make the point that on the weekly chart, the weekly is actually coming out of this consolidation and starting its also series of one time framing higher with this series of now higher lows. The what you ask it to do in order to keep with that is maintain each most recent and trailing low, right? So on the daily chart, uh, we, as we can see, the low of the week so far here to start is essentially and approximately that closing swing low from Friday at 47, like 15. That's going to be important because really what I'm going to say is ultimately that that's the support that we want to see hold and then we're going to come up with targets also okay so let's see back to daily chart we see that trailing most recent low on the daily chart is the low on the weekly and that is what is required in order to keep this with the one time framing higher okay and balance last week we know was at uh, 47.20 we already discovered that so what we are going to do now is determine a level that we can see reasonably that we'd want to be interested in buying on a retracement during this week and we know the support i mean the support is basically the 15 level right so i can make i can make a case out of buying this thing back into a, like 47 35 and 40 like right in there on retrace that could happen Wednesday or so of this week. And we want to maintain that support level that we've already discussed. So we've got a retracement buy level, we got support, now we want targets. All right, so what I've been doing for targets is normally what I'm doing is I'm coming in, that's what that level is right there. I come in and I pull the last retracement and I mark up for a 1272 extension. You can see that's at about, uh, 48.05, like right? And I take this and also measure it against this retracement, the most recent, and we see that that too is right up there at about 48, like, oh, like five area, three, five, something like that. So what I'm going to tell you is that I would anticipate our seeing, um, trade up to um, ideally we get a retracement first that you can buy into that 47.40 level for initial target 48.05 and then we want to go one step further and look at historical averages for the markup during this time of year. During this last week and heading into the first couple of days of the new year the average is two and a half percent markup. So if you take this 47.15 low and tack on a two and a half percent uptick, it's going to put you into about 48.30, which would be your T2. That's your T2. So during this last couple of minutes, very short video, what we've determined is that we've certainly got a bullish case here. Still, the S and P's are still in the squeeze in a daily with buys off this last low, the retracement with the lowest low and the breach the top to trigger this thing long. 
We've, we've determined that this isn't a one-time framing sequence up in the daily. It's shifting into that now on the weekly. We know the uh, approximate buy level on retrace that we'd be interested in. We know the support and we know our T1 and T2. T1 is the 1272 extension on this dip and they are pretty consistent. These last two retracements are pretty consistent and showing uh, T1 up here at like 48.05. And then we know the historical average for this time of year, this historical like rally period into the end of the year. A lot of people call it Santa Claus rally or holiday rally or whatever you want to call it. But um, at a two and a half percent, and if we take the low for the start of this and tack on the two and a half percent, it's going to put us into that T2 up at like 48.30. So that is it for the free video. I hope it helps. You guys have good trading this week, and I look forward to being with you again here real soon. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.